visually. It's much more flat, you know, whereas someone like you know, Rembrandt or Velasquez, uh, Van Dyck, Rubens, you know, uh, uh, and even more, you know, recent Hoffs of Pushman, uh, Priscilla Roberts, uh, you know, there's, there's a, lo a lot of people, uh, Walter Murch, you know, that were much more interested in, you know, in the depth in a painting. And so a place, you know, where you could solve your own problems, you know, in your painting. Uh, <clears throat> I know we'd all like to do <laughs> when there's a problem. Um, so if you don't don't have a teacher right there, you know there's got to be something else. There's got to be some other way to figure it out. And so this 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 visual concept that uh, David and I have been talking about, you know, has to do with, with understanding what it is you're trying to do in the painting. So very simply, you, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, be able to, you know, verbalize what your, your ideas is in the painting. But you need to have some sense of where it is you're, what you're trying to do. Because if you don't, you have no idea when you've arrived. You have no idea if you're not getting it. So you've got to have some idea of what it is you're going for in terms of color relationships, in terms of value relationships, and in terms of otherwise you just make lots of decisions, but it's not based on anything. It's not based on you know, anything that you're actually going for. So then it all becomes maybe, you know, accident and, and not, uh, not purposeful. So, so what happens when you, have, when you have a visual idea is that the degree to which you understand the idea, it gives you the ability to figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. And so, if you can put it into a uh, in, into painting terminology, then you can figure out you know where it's gone wrong. So, uh, I'll just give you an example. So, let's just say so that my idea is for these two to really be a piece of light. Okay, so that I know that's my idea. So then I look up there and I see there's a shadow on the plum, and I want to put the shadow on the. So let's say I come in and I and I and I make make a shadow on it. Okay. Make a shadow. Okay. And let's say that I make it really dark. Let's say I come in and I let's say that I make it like that. Really dark. So if, if what my idea was was to have this be a be a, a piece of light, even though there's light and shadow on it. Because if you have problems, you know you can really figure out what's wrong. You know? So I would say for the majority of people, it's you know it's just very heartening to know it's something you know intelligent, something that can be figured out.
whether I, I would keep something. It's that I'm kind of feel, feeling that I just wanted, so I, I don't know exactly what I did that you were talking about, but, but you know, just wanting this to be an interesting, you know, shape here. You know, the, the way this whole thing would end would be interesting. So you're drawing, you know, from reality and the qualities of reality, but you're not, you're not putting something in unless it makes the painting better. So you always, always are looking for stuff that makes the painting better. You know, like, like here where it gets into this kind of lighter stuff there because I want this to be a beautiful finish. This, this is kind of where we're, we're ending up in the painting, you know. But does that make sense, Rochelle? That means that you're, you know, you do stuff because it looks good. What color to make it? And actually, that's a great question because um, it's it's one argument for you know actually not not wiping off your or, or letting your palette really develop. You know, so as you're working, because what you you'll find is you'll start to find the colors that will help you with that. colors that will help you with the white. Because you'll start to find the colors on your paint, uh, on your palette. So you, you, you know, you're developing your whole color family on your palette of this particular painting. And so that's why I, I like to, you know, really keep, keep, keep all the colors on the palette. You know, I mean, I don't wipe it off you know, for, for that reason. And then it, it helps you then find the uh, find your white. And in this case, it came out of the blues I was using and the yellows I was using. 